Hello everybody and welcome back to An Art Life Worth Living. Today we're going to be talking about none other than Procreate on the iPad. We are going to be discussing layers and some tips and tricks I have when it comes to those. If any of you guys don't understand what layers do or how they work, this is the video for you. And if you guys want to see more of that and more of me, then please subscribe and leave a like and show some love. So anyways, without further ado, let's get started. So today we are talking about overlay, uh, not overlay, we're talking about layers and how different modes and layers affect your art. I just got myself a brand new iPad Pro 11 inch and I'm really excited to get into digital art. I have Procreate here, which is the program I'm using that you can see. And what happened was I've never done digital art. I have always been a traditional artist, but I really wanna get into this because I wanna be able to create new things for you guys. But what I found is I really didn't understand how any of these layers work, what the modes do, how to make my workflow much faster. So I wanted to bring this together for you guys so we could, um, so I could show you how I achieved all the results you see here on the page. So we're gonna zoom in here to the multiply section and we're gonna talk about how multiply works. Now, I already have my station set up so you can see everything, but I labeled everything so it's very easy for you guys. So we're gonna click here into multiply and I'm gonna clear off this layer. Now, what I do is I have my layer underneath and then I, I make a new layer above that layer. And then you're gonna click it and you're gonna do a clipping mask. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna keep all the shading that, you're, that you put down right now inside the lines. So it's just gonna make this a much smoother process. So here I'm gonna click a blue and I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna shade. So this is not gonna be very pretty shading. Oh, wait one second. I need to change the opacity. I want you guys to see exactly how it's gonna look. Um, with full opacity. So I'm gonna go here and as you can see, it comes off as this very dark blue. But here where you see the head, uh, the thingies for the jacket, every shade of blue is different. If you're noticing that, none of these blues are the same. And I can show you that here is when I click and hold this, we're getting a different blue. And if I click and hold this, we have another blue. And if I click and hold the white, we have another blue. So initially what Multiply is doing is it's pre-shading everything <laughs> with the colors that are below. So if I were to pick a, a dark orange for shading, everything would be shaded in this dark orange fashion, as you can see. So whatever you pick as your shading color, it's going to affect um, those colors down below. And what I can do here is I can click here since this is honestly, this is way too dark. This is, this is intense lighting, right? <laughs> so you can click the little M here and you're going to bring that opacity down. And as you bring it down, you can see, you can have it none. And at about 25%, you'll get some light shading. And I like it somewhere around 43, just so you can guys can really see the difference. So this is what Multiply does. Multiply initially gives you a very nice casted shadow and it changes the colors underneath depending on the opacity that you guys choose. Now let's move on to Darken. Now again with Darken, I did the same thing. I did the clipping mask, the layer above, but I'm going to clear the level, the layer <laughs> so you guys can see what I'm doing again. Now with Darken, it's kind of similar to Multiply, but it isn't at the same time. So I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna, I'm gonna shade these all the exact same way. I'm not gonna do anything different, but you can already see here, these are two different purples that they're creating. And I already, you can see here, um, let me make sure that I have it set to 43%. So you can see now when it's at full opacity, it does the same thing, that very dark blue. And you still have different tones, but it's a little less changeably so darken again it's very similar to multiply lighten so you guys could see how that works and i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to clear these layers so you can see what i was doing and we're going to go in with the blue oh 
with the blue so we're gonna just do that same basic shading nothing too fancy we're not trying to win an oscar here with this piece of art the color you pick matters you can't really see this lighting situation like if you chose a, vi a you know a bright vibrant yellow you can clearly see what's been lightened and what what hasn't been lightened Right, so it all depends on the feel that you're going for and how it's going to um, affect the tones that you have set. So this is how the light and darken works. Um, it's, it's just a matter of how you want your image to look. So you wanna keep that in mind. These layering techniques are not gonna save you in every aspect but it definitely does make some things easier than others so now let's move on down here to screen screen was a little confusing to me if i'm gonna be honest because you see i have two different um layers i have the screen layer and the darken layer so we're gonna clear out these layers so you can see what it looked like before and once again, we're going to set all of these to 43% so everything is um, the same. What I found with this, the screen is that the color you put over top matters. So if I were to go with a blue, do you see how everything kind of has this purpley tinge to it? But it still has lightened every single layer. But if I choose an orange, I get a much, you know, of course, warmer lighten color. But the difference between screen and lighten is you see how screen actually lightens that skin tone. No matter what color I'm picking here, that color is being affected. And the nice thing about it is you can work in, you know, some layers and have different washes of that that light color but what I also like to do is I like to go in with darken and I'll pick that same orange and I will darken the other half the screen I feel like does a lot more initially than the um, lighten and darken it can both darken layers and lighten layers I guess if I did the blue it would be a little more obvious what I'm talking about here. But you can see here, I, I have some lightened areas and I have some darkened areas. And honestly, the screen acts like a middle ground between darken and lighten. We have now three different skin tones, which I'll pull up the, the thing. So when I click on this skin tone, we're up here in the top corner. I pick this mid tone we're, we're practically in the, um, the same area, are we not? But it's so subtle. And then you come down here, and one thing I want you guys to see is how these, these tones work. They always go in this A curve pick, like, like this. So I would pick this color, right? Um, let me go down to the layer. So we have that tone on the, the light. Then we'll go here it will pick a more saturated tone right but for the for the last tone we're always going to move towards red for the skin so we'll we'll come down here like that and this is initially three colors and how you can see is when i click and hold this we're at the top then we we come around to a curb and then we come around to another curb that is how you decide your skin tones and no matter where you're going let's say we're doing a blue woman right let's just pick a blue tone here and then we're going to do the same thing which is move this forward in a little curve but when it comes down to that last color we got to bring it down here which we can we can keep it a little bit on the more dark side but we have this progressive shade because at the end of the day, the undertone of everybody's skin is red. Now let's talk about luminosity. Luminosity is 
also very confusing. We're going to choose a couple of different colors. We'll choose an orange, right? And we'll put that here. And you can see it gives it a very <clears throat> nice highlight. Now I do have the luminosity at max because I wanna really show you guys the difference here. So let's pick a yellow. To get that very light yellow, you need to go towards a white to lighten those parts of the um, the hair initially, or the face I meant. So if we wanted to lighten up these areas, we would have to go in with the proper color, which again, the lighter the color, the lighter and warmer those tones have to be. So let's pick a deep saturated blue and we can shade off this other half of the hair, right? Going in here and really putting some contrast on this stuff. And you're seeing here again on my skin tone, it really darkens it. I'm trying to keep um, a, a happy layer here in between so you can see the what's the same and what's different. That's about what we need. And then we'll go down and we'll reduce that opacity to about 43%. And here you see the less saturated the color, the more white it is, the lighter the color. The more black it is, the darker the color. So that's what luminosity does. This is how I achieve this look with luminosity. And it, it is kind of nice because you can really see, you can kind of find your even ground skin tones here. Because if I click here, we have a nice dark color. We click here, then we have a nice warm color. And we click here, we've got an even lighter color. So it, it can help with color picking when you really don't know anything about color theory, but let's go over to overlay now so overlay um this one's pretty clear cut so the color that you pick is initially the tone that will happen so i'm going to choose a blue and at max capacity it's taking every single color on this canvas and it's adding a blue hue hue to it and it's no different if i chose red it would add a red hue to it but it also will keep the um the white white because white has no hue so it can't change that so you should take that in consideration when you are doing things if you do have a a white to use a gray or something to make sure it changes but when we turn down that uh, overlay to about you know 43 percent, just to show you it keeps the colors underneath and then it puts a tone on it it's like the sun is lighting her up but if I chose a blue, everything is cooler. Um, nothing is as warm, but everything is still its own color. And you can easily adjust the blue that you have down below. You know, maybe I'll choose a green here because the green kind of matches up with that cool side, but it's better for the, um, the, the, shirt and then we can do a warm tone for the hair if we want to make sure that her hair stays this golden color because i don't know maybe her hair is magical and it always stays golden and then her skin can be a purple hue you know which will give it a little bit more warmth and here we're putting tones. So overlay can also be very helpful. Let's go to this next layer. I'm gonna turn the opacity all the way up and we're gonna go to overlay. So this is what I mean by when you're painting in black and white, overlays can really save you time because when you shade in everything really nice, all you have to do is go in with an overlay. All you need is the general tone. So you can see we have multiple layers, multiple different types of tones, and that black and white does everything for you because they're all different tones of, of lightness. And with overlay, it's just doing everything for you. So now you guys have a better understanding of what these things are doing based off of the colors underneath. 
So I hope this was helpful for you guys. It definitely was a big curve for me to figure out how all these things different work. But if you guys have any more questions or you would like to see me explain something else, please leave a comment down below. It really does help out my channel. Um, leave a like if you enjoyed this video <laughs> and subscribe for more content like this, more tips, tricks, and fun challenges from me. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I hope I made your digital art on Procreate just a little bit easier for you beginners.